So hello everyone. Today I would like to present my paper on the topic calculation of private product according to robot approach. I begin my presentation uh, with the starting points of our research. Uh, the gross domestic product introduced by Simon Kuznets in the early of 20th century uh, was used uh, by policymakers and economists uh, like a key measure of economic growth and business cycle. But does GDP really represent the change in the real production? And does GDP truly reflect the um, change of uh, behavior of economic agents? So um, uh, the objective of our article uh, is to discuss an alternative measure of private, pro uh, private product proposed by Rothbard in his book America's Growth Depression and also evaluate private product in France during the last uh, crisis. Um, I will start my presentation uh, and uh, with discussion about GDP. Um, I'll quickly uh, explain why GDP doesn't reflect the changes in real production. Then I will present a Rothbard method and uh, um, then uh, applying the Rothbard method to French macroeconomic data, um, I'll evaluate a private product in France during the last crisis and then we'll discuss the result. Uh, so uh, the majority of goods uh, uh, in economy are produced by men, but there is no perfect indicator to evaluate uh, um, all goods having value for customers because all goods do, don't pass through the market and all goods uh, um, don't have the, monetary, uh, uh, the representation of their value. So um, the question how to measure real output was posed after the Great Depression and uh, GDP was introduced in France uh, after the Second World War and also in Europe. Um, and there is a many critical, constructive critical works on GDP um, presented by different uh, economists of different, uh, different sort of economic school, but uh, um, we'll neglect these critics and we'll focus our analysis only on the main function uh, of uh, GDP to measure market value of um, real production, and uh, uh, we can conclude that uh, GDP uh, doesn't reflect the change in real production uh, due to different factors. Uh, at the first, uh, today, um, government sector represents a big part of GDP, uh, this especially in Europe, especially in France. Uh, this figure varies uh, between 27 and 57 uh, percent um, of GDP uh, in Europe, and um, um, government spending um, is evalu uh, are evaluated by the cost of production and not um, by uh, the market value. So this is very questionable from point of view of efficiency criteria. Uh, this um, mark is their market value can be higher and lower than their cost of production. And uh, there is no criterion uh, which uh, this is determinated and can be known by economic analyst. So, um, moreover, the um, main part of public spending is financed by taxes that reduce real product and uh, that represent a heavy burden for uh, private sector. Uh, so, um, firstly, um, so uh, in um, his book, American Great Depression, Rothbard described uh, the Great Depression from point of view of Austrian business cycle theory, but we uh, focused on uh, um, his um, method of calculation of private product uh, proposed in the appendix of uh, uh, his book. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a presentation of, of principal steps for, for private product calculation. So. Um, uh, the first step is evaluation of gross national product and net national product uh, using statistic data, it's easy. The second one is estimation of income uh, produced by government uh, administration and also government enterprises, um, represented by staff salaries. Uh, then gross net private product is calculated as a difference between uh, gross national product and uh, the income produced by government sector. 
Uh, then Rothbard estimates uh, public expenditure, expenditure of public uh, enterprises. And uh, then he estimates also government revenues and income of uh, public enterprises. Uh, he considers that income public enterprises is equal to expenditure of public enterprises. And then he calculates uh, gross private product, net private product remaining in private hands as a difference between gross net private product and uh, exp government expenditure, total government expenditure of revenue if they are higher. So a tax bonus calculates it uh, as a ratio between uh, gross private product and government expenditure or uh, revenues if they are higher. Um, the results obtained by Rothbard reveal um, the decline of uh, private product uh, in the United States during the Great Depression, and uh, uh, there will also uh, the increase of tax burden during the Great Depression in the United States. So, um, Rothbard method has some imperfections, and the main imperfection is using double calculation in his uh, method. So, uh, he uh, deduced he uh, reduced twice, um, deduced twice the sum of government sector salaries from um, uh, gross national product. And uh, today, uh, government sector is so big that uh, we can obtain a negative result if we will apply, if you, if you apply uh, French, uh, for example, French macroeconomic data. Um, so um, to uh, to apply uh, Rothbard's method should be um, re-evaluated and corrected to apply to current macroeconomic data. Uh, so um, we uh, apply his method to French macroeconomic data during the last crisis, and uh, uh, at the first we calculated gross private product, net private product remaining according to Rothbard approach, and then we corrected this method and recalculated uh, uh, this indicator. So uh, we can observe just that in 2009, uh, GDP uh, uh, decreased. Uh, government income, uh, the estimation of government income uh, is represented in table two and uh, uh, represented by staff salaries of government enterprises and uh, uh, public sector. So we added to this figure uh, the income produced by social security, not existing during the Great Depression in the United States, but uh, uh, represented a big figure today in France. So we can just observe that uh, government income uh, increased through the, uh, through the crisis. Uh, we calculated private product in France uh, as a difference between GDP and total government income. Then uh, we estimated uh, uh, government expenditure, expenditure of government enterprise, and we can conclude that uh, government expenditures also uh, increased through the, through the crisis. Uh, it was possible uh, uh, due to the increase of um, public debt. So uh, we calculated gross private product and net private product remaining, and we obtain a negative result. And um, uh, it can be explained by double accounting using by Rothbard. So um, we calculated uh, uh, gross private product, and we obtain positive result, but uh, uh, the figure in 2000 is uh, lowest, and it can be explained but, uh, by um, consumption of capital uh, during the crisis uh, and uh, the lack of resources to finish the project that uh, were started during the more prosperous period. So uh, we calculate in tax burden in France and according to Rothbard's method and also this figure is over-evaluated. But just uh, one interesting fact, this figure during the Great Depression uh, didn't exceed 30% uh, in the United States, and in France uh, in 2010 it's uh, 109%. We also recalculated uh, tax burden in France, avoiding double accounting, and uh, uh, the figures are lower than uh, 100%, but close to it. Um, so, in conclusion, uh, we can uh, 
we can conclude that it's impossible um, to evaluate all goods in economics. There is no perfect indicator uh, to calculate monetary value of all goods. And the Rosebud approach uh, um, has some imperfection and uh, should be corrected to apply to current macroeconomic data. Um, we can also uh, um, reveal the different behavior between private agents and uh, public agents. So um, real output private uh, decreased during the crisis and government spending uh, increased during the crisis. And um, in the same way that during the Great Depression, uh, tax burden uh, increased in France. And uh, it's really important that tax burden decre decreases during the crisis because it's a key measure of uh, um, economic recovery and also the allocation resources in economy. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for your lecture. Um, my question is, uh, what is the value of all of these measurements if, uh, if we're not attempting to centrally plan the economy, why would we be interested in these uh, measures? If we're not uh, a government which uh, needs these kinds of things in order to make plans? Uh, it's just uh, like an alternative measure to GDP. So we can use GDP to do some empirical analysis uh, or, for example, to um, realize um, uh, empirical analysis of um, Austrian business cycle theory, we need some um, indicators like to, to measure real output. So Rosewood proposed one, I recalculated it. Um, it's just a research point, but uh, you don't need uh, this indicator to plan some, something. It's just a research point and uh, an alternative measure of GDP. So, Austrian perspective proposed another measure of GDP. Thank you very much. I would like to ask you, your data are in real terms or nominal terms? And the real, sure. Real, real. real. And uh, um, Rothbard also used real. Corrected to and inflation. Do you, do you think that all the public expenditures are completely useless to the general public, such as education, healthcare, etc.? So, therefore, they should be deduced. Um, so, um, the main point and that we can know, uh, we cannot know it. We, we have no criteria to evaluate uh, their monetary value. It can be completely unuseful. So. Uh, to evaluate private product real, we remove that, according to Rothbard. And I think, yes, it's, uh, uh, it's more logical to remove it because we cannot evaluate, uh, we cannot uh, know if it's useful or not for, pri for, uh, for customers. Hi. Um, are there also measures for the amount of or the type of uh, capital or capital structure of the economy? Because this is like an income uh, uh, report for a company, right? And the you also need to have like the as know the assets and in order to have a full picture. Are there any measures for that? Um, if uh, we would like to realize um, Austrian business cycle, theory analysis, empirical analysis, you should have investment goods, uh, sure, and uh, customer goods, real product. So I think we can also calculate it and use only private sector product. Yes. But uh, in this indicator, we, um, it's customer goods and uh, capital goods uh, are, are together, so it, it's, not, it's not different. 
coffee for it can wait. We can yeah, I would like to just make a short remark related to the last question. There is uh, Mark Skousen is doing sort of a balance sheet approach that tries to measure total output, including all the the, the you know the earliest uh, parts of the of the triangle, not only the income, the last one. So he he develops that method. Also, there is yes, and it's relatively Austrian. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.